Good morning, everybody. Okay, today we're going to go over numeric, old world, perspective tile, and photo recall. These two here, Outer Glow and, and Pereira Full Screen, are ones that I've created, so we won't go over those. All right, numeric, it's a colorizing filter. And you can see it kind of makes a dark tone. Let's turn it off so we can see the original. So this is the original, and this is when I add numeric. And it has an amount, and it also has a protect skin, which you're not really going to see too much, except on this shot here. If I turn the protect skin down, you can see her lipstick and kind of facial makeup disappears. And we'll go over that just a little bit more later. It also has a temperature which kind of makes it more blue and dreary. If we turn the protect skin down, you can see everybody looks alien. All right. What I've noticed with the protect skin, let's go back to this shot here, is on this very dreary version rather than the slightly warmer version, the protect skin is a little more obvious. And then if we go here, you can actually see the protect skin is protecting the red. All right, and then last of all, you have shadows, which pretty much just make it darker. It's a little easier to see when the shot's not moving. All right, so that's numeric. Let's go over old world, another colorizing, stylizing filter. This kind of gives it the uh, look of an old film um, that's all blown out and colors distorted, not very good. You have an amount that you can change. Kind of gives it that glow when it's all on. And then match iMovie changes it from this to a true sepia. So Match iMovie still allows some of the original color to come through, whereas turning it off turns it into a true sepia. All right, let's remove that one. And let's go with Perspective Tile. Welcome to the Matrix. This one's crazy. Okay, this one would be easily animated with the amount. If you bring the amount down, it... It basically finds midpoints between the original and the finalized. We'll stop right here and play with this just a little bit. Okay, there's eight node points here. They also have these corresponding things here. And you can simply just grab the node points, any of them, and mess with them. And you have a rotation, which rotates all of the node points. Now see, you see four node points here, but you see eight here. That's because when you drag one of these, it adjusts two of them at the same time. You have a center, a rotation, and all of these node points. And welcome to the matrix right there. And then mix will blend it back in with the dissolve. So you can animate this. Let's start by clicking it here, and let's go back to here. And what you'll get is a transition from this to that. All right, so that's perspective tile. And photo recall. I believe this one is actually meant to be animated. The perspective tile can be, but I think this one really is supposed to be. This is my opinion, though. Okay, and what this does is creates like a picture so that you can focus on this and then you have the blurry background here. You have an amount which will bring the picture up to the foreground and blend it in. You have two styles, classic. Or instant or Polaroid. 
And then you have a blur, which adjusts the blur in the background. And then you have separation, which will kind of desaturate and change the color temperature of the, the video in the background, which is just a mimic of the stuff in the foreground. Then you have a center, which you can grab from over here and just move it around just like this. And then a scale. There's no rotation, which is kind of a bummer to me. And because it would be nice to have it come back and turn slightly this way. So it's laying out right here. But there's no rotation on this photo frame filter, photo recall filter. And then if I wanted to animate it, this is basically what I would do. I would find my place where I want it to end, click the arrow, come back a little bit, click it again, take the amount down to zero, and this is what will happen. So there we go. That was numeric, old world, perspective tile, and photo recall. And next time we'll go over pixelate, prism, projector, and quack flish. Quack flish. Quick flash spin. All right. Thank you very much for watching.